Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Make Up. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a trick that I use when applying false lashes on myself to make life so much easier. I think I have mentioned this. Oh, it's so noisy out here today. Um, anyhow, I think I did mention this in a video before, but I haven't done a dedicated video to it. I did a dedicated video to how just to apply false lashes in general years ago, but this is something a little bit different. It's how I apply lashes on myself um, to make life easy so that they never ever lift. So if you want to see how that's done guys, just keep watching. All right guys, so I'm in the middle of filming this tutorial, which will have gone up on Tuesday. Yeah, so you can check that out if you missed it, and that's why I look a bit of a state. But I'm in the middle of, well, no, I'm actually just about to do my lashes, and I wanted to show you a trick that I use when I'm applying my own lashes to make life much easier on myself uh, for applying them. I could apply them on a client or someone else with my eyes closed, no bother, but I do struggle a little bit more with my own lashes, and I think a lot of other people do as well. Um, especially when you're dealing with lashes like these kind of ones that have thick black bands and especially if you're dealing with sometimes cheaper ones that don't have a good bend in them and they just fight against your tooth and nail to try and lift on the inner and outer corner and this is a really good trick for that. Now I'm not going to use those thick ones today because I've only got liner on my outer corner so I want to use something with a really delicate band but I'll still show you how I do it. These guys are amazing shine lashes. Don't ask me what those other ones were, I have no idea. Um, normally what I would do with lashes is I would measure them against the eye like this and see how long they are and then trim whatever I need to trim. So that makes sense. Um, I'm not gonna do that today. What I'm gonna do today is, bear with me, but instead what I'm gonna do is literally trim in the middle. So it doesn't have to be too precise, but I'm just going to kind of in the middle but a little bit further over um, to the outside just because my eyeliner doesn't go all the way in the middle and you'll see in a sec where they overlap you don't want it to be too thick if there's no liner there so I'm just going to trim say yeah so now what I have are if I had eyeliner on the whole eye um, I would trim right down the middle it wouldn't make much of a difference but here what I've kind of done is trimmed the outer third and then this inner third, if you know what I mean. So, just gonna do that quickly to the other one. Now normally what I would do is if I was just trimming from the outer end from having like fitted to my eye, I'd throw that away. Sometimes I'd overlap it on the outer corner. Um, but with these, you don't throw any, anything away because you will be overlapping. You can use these tweezers. I find these ones harder to use. These are the ones that are actually for um, lashes. So I'm just gonna use normal tweezers and um, I'm going to do the intersection of my eye first, so I'm going to get the shorter part of the lash, which was the part for the inner corner, and I'm going to get some of that dual glue with just a little pokey stick thing and apply it onto the lash. And I've mentioned this before when I'm applying lashes, but you always have to make sure you let the glue dry for about 30 seconds. Uh, move it longer if you have more glue on, but you don't need too much glue. I think that's where a lot of people let themselves down is when they apply too much glue. If it's your own eye lashes on your own eyes, feel free to blow. Never if you're doing it on clients though. And then, because you're only kind of applying half a lash, it is so much easier than doing the full eye. Because with the full eye, um, the band will bend in the middle just to accommodate the shape of your eye. A lot of them don't accommodate for that shape or that bend. So this is gonna have much less of a bend because you're literally only doing half the eye. And I just find it easier to do this inner part first. So I just applied it there like straight down in the middle. And once that is done, I'll worry about the inner corner. Now it can still be tricky to get it to lay down in the inner corner, but once it's on, it's on. And because it's only half a lash, there's mu much less of a chance of it lifting because it just doesn't have the pressure that it has usually over the full eye. And now it's time to apply the other half or the other third in my case today, but generally the other half. And then just pop it on to the outer part of your eye. And because you didn't trim or get rid of any of the trim, it will overlap. 
But this is a good thing because it'll look a bit fuller there on the center of the eye, which I think gives a really nice, um, a really nice finish to the eye. So you get a little bit more volume. And then I always just use my finger then to balance it in place. And then that's your lashes stuck down. Like It's not necessarily quicker because you are doing two, but it's just less fiddling and they're guaranteed not to lift. Well, they never lift for me anyhow, um, whereas they could lift otherwise. So I do hope this is helpful, guys.